It was a special holiday on the island of Sodor. Bertie the bus was working harder than ever before. All the engines were busy too. Duck was waiting for his next journey. Near him stood a red bus, but he didn't look friendly like Bertie. The bus growled as he gazed at the happy passengers. Stupid nonsense, he grumbled. I wouldn't have brought them if I'd known. I'd have had a breakdown or something. I'm glad you didn't, smiled Duck. You'd have spoiled their fun. Ah, enjoyment is all you engines live for. One day, railways will be ripped up. Duck felt shocked at such an idea. We have a friend called Bertie, and he's a bus, but he likes the railway. Sometimes he teases us about it, but he'd never want to see it ripped up. Huh, growled the bus. I know Bertie. He's too small in size to be of any use. Duck took no notice. <whistles> that bus is silly, he thought as he steamed away. He was off to the seaside. His driver was explaining everything as they puffed along the line. There's a seaside village near here, and every year they have a big parade with a special attraction for all the visitors. This year, Toby, you're the special attraction. Thank you, sir, said Toby. But what does a special attraction do? Oh, just smiles and blows whistles at everyone, replied his driver. We're almost there. Listen, you can hear the seagulls. Soon, they reach the little station by the village. The line runs along the coast by sandy beaches till it meets a port where big ships come in. Doc enjoyed exploring every curve and corner of the line. Sea breezes swirled his smoke high into the air and his green paint glistened in the sunlight. This is just like being on holiday, he puffed. Well, you know what they say, laughed his driver. A change is as good as a rest. If you should visit a place that has a lake in the woods and a beautiful waterfall, one morning, Thomas was puffing along the line that runs by the coast. His two coaches, Annie and Clarabel, were packed with children going to the beach. Everyone was happy. Percy was taking some trucks to the harbour. In springtime, Rusty loves to visit a faraway place. It's filled with bluebells. The air smells sweet and Rusty thinks there is no better place to be. Balloon rides in the country. Percy and Duck like working at the harbour by the sea. On a clear summer's night, there is no better place to be. The big ships bring passengers. Cargo ships carry machinery and other things. Duck and Percy puff backwards and forwards with the crates of cargo as they are loaded and unloaded by the quayside. One morning, Duck and Percy noticed that the horizon was packed with sails, flapping against the blue sky. I wish I could sail to faraway lands, sighed Duck. Engines can't go sailing, snorted Percy, because engines can't float. Duck still had his dreams. Bill and Ben were delighted to see the visitors. They loved being photographed. Later, they took the party to the China Clayworks in a brake van special. Everyone had a splendid time, and the visitors were most impressed. Engines going on public roads must have their wheels covered and a cow catcher in front. 
to protect people and animals from being dragged under the wheels if they stray onto the line. You haven't, so you are dangerous. Every summer, the island of Sodor is very busy. Holidaymakers love to sightsee, and when the weather is fine, there is no better place to visit. Some people like to go to the mountains, others like the valleys. Children love the seaside. Henry the Green Engine has lived on the island of Sodor for many years. He wouldn't want to be anywhere else. He likes every part of it, from the fields filled with flowers to the white sandy beaches. But there is one place that Henry always enjoyed visiting more than any other. His driver knew this too. Come on, Henry, he would say. We've made good time today. We'll stop for a while by the forest. Henry loved it here. The forest was full of broad oaks and tall pines. Look how big city, here we come. If one morning you were to ride in Bertie the bus, you would run down the winding country road with him, cross over Stonewall bridges and travel past Thomas's branch line. Scar Lowey, the little engine, loves all the sights and sounds along his line and knows them very well. I've never seen the island like this before. It's wonderful, she said. On a clear day when the sky is blue and there is just enough breeze to blow the clouds away, you can stand on the big hill above the valley and watch Duck and Oliver far below, busily at work on Duck's branch line near the sea.